Hi there guys and welcome back to the Red and Blue Site YouTube channel. Before I start this video guys, I just want to say thank you so, so much for all your support on my first upload, my player of the season for last season for Crystal Palace. Uh, I really, really enjoyed making it and seeing so many views in the first week of it coming up was fantastic and hopefully it'll be the start of something great on this channel. So uh, with that gone, now let's uh, get straight on to the next video. So as you can tell by the title guys, I am doing my prediction for the 2016-17 Barclays Premier League table. Um, obviously it's very hard to predict it exactly, but I'm going to do my best. I have my uh, trusty sheet down here with uh, my predictions on. And uh, as you can see on the table to my left, uh, we'll be um, putting them up as I go through the teams. So um, obviously write down in the comments below if you disagree with any of my decisions, I can tell you are going to disagree with a few. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's uh, get stuck into this second video on my predicted table for the next upcoming season. So guys, starting in 20th position, I have put Hull City. Now Hull, obviously they came up through the playoffs, beating Sheffield Wednesday 1-0 in the playoff final. And you know, automatically that will put them as one of the favourites to go down, being a the third promoted team from the championship last year. But I think they're going to finish not just for that reason, but because they've lost Steve Bruce, who's obviously a huge influence on the team. And also they've made no signings. I think they signed one guy from Peterborough on a free, um, a youngster. And um, no manager as of yet with less than a week now to the start of the season. I, honestly, it's not looking for them at all. They need to strengthen that squad if they have any chance of staying up. It's pretty much identical to when they went up last, uh, not last season, uh, three, four seasons ago, it's identical to when they went up then, and it's I, I don't think it's got enough in it to stay up. So Hull City are my bottom place team. Moving up the table, we have 19th, and I have put down Sunderland. Now, of course, they brought in David Moyes. That is a good signing for them after losing Big Sam to England. They've been very unlucky with managers. You know, they've had, was it seven or something in the last four or five years? It's ridiculous. But David Moyes, really good choice to replace Big Sam. My problem is, though, again, not made any signings. I think they've just made one, Dilla Boji from Chelsea for eight million. Very good signing for them to sign him, not just on a loan, but permanently. So that will strengthen their defence. And, you know, I did this table a few days ago, and so things may have changed since then, but I still think some of them will finish 19. Controversial. Many people think they might stay up, but personally, I think they've been hovering around the relegation zone for a long time now, many seasons, and I think it's time they go down. Moving up then to 18th, and the last relegation spot I have picked, unfortunately, Burnley. Now, I love Burnley. I love Sean Dyche. I think he's one of the best, one of the best voices in football. But um, Ginger Mourinho. Uh, <laughs> but honestly, I think that, again, they've made signings, and they've made okay signings. But the best being, I think, Goodmanson from the Iceland squad. Obviously, a huge influence in the Euros. But I don't think they've strengthened enough in key areas, like replacing a really good central midfielder, and Joey Barton was crucial when they came up last year. He's obviously gone to Rangers. So I don't think they have exactly the Premier League quality they need in uh, the key areas to stay up. And I really hope they do stay up. Don't get me wrong, I want them to stay up. But I feel like compared to some of the other teams in the league, they're not going to not gonna make it, unfortunately. And we now move up into 17th and just missing out on relegation, I have picked Borough. Now this might be a shock to some of you, but I really think they have done well this uh, summer in the transfer market. Best signing for me so far is signing Negredo on loan. I think he is proven goal scorer in the Premier League. Didn't score too many with City, but he scored on his first season and he's such a good target man. He will get crucial goals for that side. Obviously they got uh, Stuart Downing, um, some huge players that have played in the Premier League have had Premier League experience. Plus, they've got a coach who's worked at Real Madrid, of course, in um, Aitor Carranca. They've got a lot of experience. I think they will stay up by the skin of their team. Moving up then into 16th, I put down Bournemouth. Now, obviously, a fantastic season last year. Absolutely incredible. Probably the high, one of the highlights would be beating Man United and away at Chelsea. Um, got, of course, uh, ex-Palace boy Glenn Murray scoring the winner at Chelsea. That was a great moment. But... Um, I feel they're going to do a bit worse this season, coming down to 16th, um, not as high as they finished last year, simply because second season syndrome, uh, you know, normally teams 
who come up and stay up in the first season normally get relegated the next season or it's very common they would. Uh, I don't think they'll get relegated this year but despite them buying some very good signings I think this will um, be a worse season for Bournemouth. 15th place guys and we have got West Bromwich Albion. Obviously Tony Pulis, ex Palace boss, I'll always be grateful for him for what he did in the year we came up when we wore this kit in fact um, in our away days. Uh, I'll always be grateful for him, that Liverpool game was called one of the greatest games I've ever seen in my life and I think most Palace fans will agree with me. But West Brom as a whole, they're obviously very solid with Pulis managing them but obviously they normally finish around this area every season and you know they've lost some crucial players, they look like they're going to lose Berahino, hopefully to us, but you never know. I'll be doing a video on transfer, Christopher's transfers in a few weeks time, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I think West Brom will have an average season, they'll come 15th. 14th guys, and we have got Watford. Now, some people probably would think they'll come lower than this, and I would agree, you know, don't get me wrong, I think they could come lower than this, but for the sake of the table, I put them 14th. New manager who's not Premier League proven at all. They could even possibly drop into the relegation zone. I highly doubt it with Deeney still leading the line and some of the players they've got and recruited. But I think it will be um, average season for Watford at best. I don't think they're going to replicate the heights they had last year and I think they will come 14th. 13th then we got Swansea. Now Swansea's a weird one. I could have put them quite a, bit, a little bit higher but I really do think that they're now after the heights when they got to the Euros not the Euros, we got to the Europa League that one new season a few years ago. I don't think they'll replicate that again for a while now. Uh, I think they've just signed Fernando Lorente though recently, um, which is a cracking signing for them and that could put them further up the table because like I said, I made this table a few days ago, signings could influence this table in the future. But as it stands now, I put them in 13th. I think it'll be an average season again. 12th guys, and now I put Southampton. Now again, they've got a new manager in. I can't even pronounce his name. I don't know where he's from and what he's done. But uh, I think they will come 12th, mainly for the reason that he's not proven again, not permanently proven. Charlie Austin, if he is fit, will get them into the top half of the table without a doubt, possibly into Europa League. But his legs are made of popper doms, <laughs> and I don't think he's gonna gonna be fit for the whole season. It's very rare he is. It's very debatable. They should finish top half, but I put them 12th, which will cause a lot of uh, um, a lot of arguments probably when you see who I've got further up. But Southampton 12th on my table for 2016-17 season. But one place above them now in 11th we've got Stoke City. Mark Hughes of course managing Stoke. Um, he's, he's done very well actually since he's come. He's moved away from the Tony Pulis style of football and he's made them actually quite an attractive side. Arnautovic, I don't know if he'll be able to stay for the window. If he does then they definitely could be a top 10 team. And of course if they do sign Berahino, a player they've been strongly linked with as of course Palace have been. Um, that could really boost them even further. They've got really good striking options, and um, with Shakiri, I think he's starting to really adapt to the Premier League. Um, yeah, we could see Stoke a little bit further up, but again, I think they'll just miss out on top ten, and they are my eleventh place team. In tenth, then, guys, we have West Ham, and this could cause some controversy as well. Most people think they could be a bit higher up, um, but personally, I think they'll come tenth, a little bit worse than last year. They're in a new stadium, uh, the Olympic Stadium. Looks amazing. And for that reason, I think new pitch, not too many new signings. It could be interesting season for them. Faguli was a good signing, though. I'll give it to them. Faguli's fantastic loan deal. And they've got a lot of other options coming up. I think they're trying to get Ben Tech as well. Hopefully, we can beat them to, to them for that, um, which is why you, it'll be interesting when you see my next place team. Ninth then, boys, I put my put the beloved Crystal Palace. And now here, here come the hate comments below and the dislikes and all of that. Now, guys, honestly, I don't really think Palace will finish ninth unless unless we get Benteke or Berahino and another striker. If we get Berahino and one more striker or just Benteke, we are top 10 material without a doubt. Against Valencia, we beat them 3-1. Now, you know, for a club like us, that's amazing beating a you know, former Euro European champion side 3-1. Um, and that was playing Punchin, Balassi, Zahar and Townsend all in the same squads, which is full on attack really, and we it worked, it really did work. So could you imagine if we had Benteke in that lineup? We have to be top 10 material. Now if we don't get Benteke, or someone of his quality, of his price, or something like that, like Bonnie, I would love Bonnie, he's a very similar player, but if we don't get either of them, or Barahino, I definitely think we could be lower, maybe replacing Southampton, in 12th and Southampton coming up to 9th. 
But as I'm, I'm doing this table as if we've got that signing, and I think we, if we have our best possible eleven with a new striker, we can finish ninth. So that is where I'm putting Palace. Please don't hate me for it. And then above us in eighth, I've got Everton. Obviously, Ronald Koeman moving from Southampton to join the Merseyside club. Doing some, a couple of good deals. He's also really doing well to hold on to Lukaku. If they can keep Lukaku, they could finish even higher. But I've got them down at eighth, just missing out on Europe. Seventh, then we've got Leicester, last year's Premier League champions. Now I'm not, no, I'm not putting them to win the league again this year. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but it's not going to happen. I really wish they would, and it was absolutely so buzzing when they won it last year. I really wanted them to do it, as of all the other neutrals. Really, really would have wanted them to do it, um, and I'm so happy they did. But this year, I think they're just not going to have quite enough to replicate the success they had last year. Some really good signings. Musa, I put him in my fantasy Premier League team. Cracking signing. He was so good against Barcelona in the International Champions Cup. So yeah, they got some good deals and they really could prove me wrong yet again. For a, I could prove everyone wrong for a second season again and get in the Champions League. Maybe scrape fourth. But for the sake of this table and in my opinion, I think they'll just miss out and have a really good season again for Leicester. But not as good as last year. In sixth then we have Everton's close rivals Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp of course really doesn't like Palace. I don't know why he's not just let us have Benteke. He's he obviously still very bitter about when we beat them at Anfield last season 2-1. Get in there Scott Dan. Um, but yeah he's made some very good signings of course. I like Jurgen Klopp. Made some very good signings. Mane, uh, Wijnaldum, some high profile names there of course. Um, and I think they would come sixth here um, just behind um, where they probably were aiming to be, which is in the top four. Um, obviously, this the whole top four and five, six could change around, and you know, it's obviously not set in stone my table at all by, by any means. But I think they'll finish sixth, have an average season. Hopefully, Jurgen Klopp, though, can prove me wrong and get them into the top five, maybe for top four, because I really think they are a good side with the players they have, and I really like Jurgen Klopp. When it comes to controversy, guys, in fifth place, I put Arsenal. Now, many people will be thinking, what are you talking about? They've been in the Champions League every year with Wenger, and why would it be any different? Well, I'll tell you what, guys, if they don't get the players they need, the holding midfielder, the striker, they're not getting in top four this season. I mean, if you look at all the other teams, Spurs really doing well, and I think they will do very, very um, well this season again. They've got new managers from in Chelsea and United City. Obviously, they can have to adapt to their new sides and into the Premier League, which will give a chance for Arsenal to win the league again, but they never ever perform. They do well to Christmas and never go on to win the league. They never sign the players they need to. And I really think, looking at their pre-season, they've had some good games, some good thumping, some teams, but they've lost some crucial games. They've lost Mertesacker and Gabriel to injury, so they really need a centre-back and not long to go now until the start of the season. I think they're going to drop out in fifth with the quality of the teams above them. We now move on to the top four guys, my Champions League spots and it's obvious who the top four teams are but this isn't the order I think they'll be in, I'll do them all at once for you. Fourth, I'm going to think it'll be Spurs, third Chelsea, second United and first Manchester City. The reason for this guys, Spurs of course had a fantastic year last year, just missing out on winning the league and ended up dropping up behind Arsenal in third and uh, most Spurs fans would be gutted about that. But this year, I think they'll replicate their success and come in the Champions League again, coming in fourth. Um, so obviously, Janssen, a good um, second striker they've bought um, back up Harry Kane. And they've just performed very well. They had some tricky games in the International Champions Cup, but there have been some other games where they've been fantastic. They thumped into Milan 4-0 or 4-1, I think. So, yeah, definitely worthy of Champions League spot. Third, obviously, our um, Conte is at Chelsea now. Third is my place team is Chelsea for me. And I think that he'll bring that defensive stability they needed after last year when Mourinho was there there wasn't that much um, the defence leaked a lot of goals and the, hence the reason they dropped down and they're not in Europe this year and that's also my reason why I think they'll finish third maybe even higher they don't have Europe to deal with they just got the Premier League purely and I think with Conte's experience of course he had a fantastic Euros with Italy plus the players they've got at the moment Bashua is a good signing even though I think Palace would have wanted him and I I don't think he'll play with the strikers out there. But, and then, of course, Angolo Kante, 30, 32 million. Fantastic signings, and yeah, they've got a great chance of coming, if not third, higher. Second, then, Manchester United. They've just recently won the Community Shield yesterday, in fact, as I'm recording this, 2 1 against Leicester. I think they've had the best transfer window of all the teams. Mourinho, first of all, coming in, then him getting Zlatan. 
uh, Mkhitaryan. They're about to, I think they're about to get Pogba now. It's looking like that's going to happen. He's having a medical with Manchester. So with that alone and Mourinho's talent and ability to get teams performing from straight from the get-go as he arrives at clubs. Get my hair out of the way. Um, I think they'll come a much better season this year. They'll get Champions League. They'll come second. Um, and of course that means mean they'll be missing out on the uh, top spot to their rivals who I put in first Manchester City I think as soon as Pep Guardiola joined Pep Guardiola joined I felt they would win the league instantly I think he's such a class manager I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube of him taking his training sessions at Manchester City he just looks amazing the signings he's got are really going to improve the, the, the team Gundogan he splashed the cash he's got that like Gabriel um, youngster from Brazil for 20 something million incredible really and of course if he can keep Aguero fit, if so you can give Aguero fit, De Bruyne a fit, uh, David Silva fit, company fit, if they can, you know, it's a big if, but if they can keep all of them fit, they are my Premier League champions without a shadow of a doubt. So there we go guys, that there is my Premier League table for next year. Um, I'm probably not going to go down and put a bet on this because it's definitely not going to happen. Um, obviously there's some um, teams on there like Palace, Southampton, West Ham. Um, could be different and obviously my bottom three is debatable but leave in the comments below who's going to win the league who's coming top four and who's getting relegated and of course thank you so much guys for watching please like subscribe uh, let me know if what, or what other videos you'd like me to do and I'll be back to you soon hope you enjoyed this video like I said like subscribe and I'll see you guys later